Hello, Rockshuck here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get an LED to light up every time you get a new email. You will need an Arduino, any model will work, a USB cable to connect to your computer, and an optional LED. So in essence, we'll be using a Python script that will check your Gmail account for any unread emails, and if it detects one, it'll use the Python serial module to talk to your Arduino, which will then light up. So you're going to need to have a few things installed. The first, of course, will be the Arduino IDE. It's completely free, and if you have an Arduino, you most likely already installed it on your computer. You would install the proper one for your operating system here. Then you need to install Python. Python should already be installed on a Mac or Linux computer. If you're running Windows, you should need to install it um, using one of these two installers. You're going to be, you're going to be using 2.7 or any of the 2.0 flavors. And then you're going to need to install PySerial. If you're using Linux, you would just use sudo uh, your package manager name. So for Ubuntu, it would be sudo apt-get install. It would be something like this. If you're using Ubuntu. If you're using Windows, you're going to need to install it from one of these two. And if you're using Mac OS X, you're going to have to install from source, which I will show you how to do right now. So you're just going to click the first one, click OK. Then you're going to go pull inside your downloads, extract it. And inside you're going to have a few files. Um, to actually install it, you're going to go to your terminal. Let's get the cool one. Right. All right, so you're going to go to your terminal. You're going to go to the directory where this folder would be in. So I have it in, in desktop. And then you're going to go into the appropriate one. Okay. So you're going to have all these files. And then all you're going to do is sudo python setup.py install. You're going to type in your password for your computer. And there, it should have installed it. Now you're going to need to actually install the files to get the Arduino to work. So you're going to go to github.com slash rukshuk.lr, which isn't my name, slash ardu mail. And then you can use git to install it through the terminal. Uh, to keep it simple, I'm just going to download the zip file. Alright. And then we'll just keep it in the desktop to keep it simple. So, when you open the directory, you're going to have a few files, uh, direct another directory in a file. Uh, the, this one is going to have the Arduino file, so we're going to open that up first and then the code should work you don't need to modify it at all uh, just be sure to select the proper board I'm using an uno and I have it plugged in and it's plugged in to this board right here and I'm just gonna upload the code all right all right so it's done uploading uh, that's all I really need. I can uh, just put this aside. I will need the window in a second. So you're going to open up the, the Python file. You can use any text editor. I'm going to use IDLE 2.7 because I'm going to be able to execute it within it. And this comes if you installed uh, Python from python.org. Otherwise, you can use the uh, Python through the terminal and it will work the same. So. In the code, uh, you're going to have to modify a few things. Uh, the first one is going to be your serial port. This is a serial port for your Arduino. On the bottom right hand side of the IDE, you should have a serial port listed around here. It's forward slash dev forward slash cu dot USB modem 1411. So I'm just going to type that in here. For Windows, it should be a COM port, and for Linux, it'll be dev, tty, something. Alright, and then you're going to type in your email here. 
and then your password is going to go in here. Then when you're done doing that, you're just going to file and save it, and I will sh come back to it as soon as I type in my credentials. One second. All right, so I've saved in my credentials, and all you're going to do is go to run, run module, and I'm just going to switch over to the Arduino so you can see what's going on. All right, so my Arduino is connected, and it is receiving serial data from the Python script. So you can tell it's working when the RX LED is blinking. And you don't need to have the Arduino IDE open, you just need to have the Python script running and the Arduino hooked up to that serial port or the USB port on your computer. And that's it. So I'm just going to send myself an email really quick, and when it sends, it should light up. There we go. So it lit up, and it was, at, it was pretty fast, so I'm just going to check my email. And there we go, it turned off. So it's really that easy. I found this to be a much easier way to do it without using an Ethernet shield because the Python uh, programming language is very flexible and it's very powerful for this kind of stuff. So using the serial module uh, allows me to talk to a microcontroller like the Arduino. So have fun with it. You can uh, do a lot of cooler things with this, like hook up a Raspberry Pi and have the Arduino control motors and etc. over the serial module. So this is just another uh, concept of how the serial module can work with Python. And my code for Ardu Mail is open source on GitHub. So feel free to hack, modify, and upload any cool changes that you wish. Thanks for watching. This is Rockshock, and I'll catch you another time.